I was wrong. I was wrong. A couple months ago, I published an article on Men's Journal. I wrote about the three knots that I use most often for bass fishing. And among them, I used the double uni knot as my example of the easiest, most effective way to combine a, a floral leader to your braid. It's easy to hold, it ties up pretty quick, and I never really had enough specific examples of that knot failing on me. So I went, yep, that's my knot, that's easy. You know, not gonna think about that anymore. The other day, I saw this video from Bass Fishing HQ. The algorithm serves it up to me. It knows Kurt needs a little help. And the title was enough to scare me into having a look. Uh, and I have to admit that this guy put together a video that was pretty compelling. I liked the scientific kind of approach that he took. So I was really kind of pleased to see he had equipment, a digital push-pull meter, um, and mounted it to some sort of like a... a bench vice sort of uh, apparatus that would keep it all very consistent. He could crank tension onto it, and when the knot would break, it would be measured accurately. Not only that, he decided to test three different combinations of line weight, which I thought was smart. And in addition to that, he tied three knots, the same combination, three knots, three times, and then averaged the results to get to his final result. And you know, now that I'm looking at this thing, it's, it is, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> I can't deny that. It, it, this can't be the best way, but I had to factor in other things. Maybe it's not the best knot, but the other convenience factors weighed in for my, my total decision. But this thing performed pretty poorly. It, it worked better with thin lines, which is primarily where I use it. But even in that best case scenario, the best a, a double uni knot could do was about 80% of the original brake strength which isn't great when you start to think about, you know, 10 pound test actually performing like eight pound test and eight pound test actually knocked down to six and a half or so. Yeah, that starts to become numbers that don't make sense. And then when I think about it and I noticed my leader had like a big nick in it or had been scuffed against a rock, I would think, well, that line is compromised. Now what's the actual strength of this line? And I'd retie it. But if the knot right from the get go at the best it can do is 80%, I was wrong. Wrong. <laughs> uh, not that I have a problem with that, but uh, now I have to decide what it is I'm going to do next. The other two knots he tested were the Alberto knot and the FG knot. And the Alberto knot I've tried a couple times in the past, and it seems like a decent knot. And according to his tests, that ends up being pretty consistently above 90% brake strength throughout the, the range of the weights. So that's a reasonable compromise for something you can tie up in a couple seconds without thinking about it. 90%, all right, well, that's pretty compelling. The FG knot, every one of his tests was 100% or better what the pound strength of that line was. So the FG knot just doesn't fail. I know when that knot first hit the scene, I worked on it for about a season. And if I was prepping for a tournament, sitting in my garage in my boat, tying up rods, I would tie FG knots. But if a knot would fail or a line would get nicked or whatever the case during the course of the tournament day, I wouldn't sit there and retie that because, you know, when that first came out, all the instructions where you've got your rod leaning away from you and you've got the line in your mouth and you've got to get this perfect tension on the line all the time and the boat's rocking and the wind's blowing and the fish are busting ahead of you and there was no way I was going to sit there and tie that knot. So I kind of gave up on it. And then I noticed in his video, he's showing himself tying up these three knots. And I noticed he doesn't have a, a fishing rod leaning away from him with the line in his teeth and he's doing this. And then I thought, wait a sec, this is different. This isn't the same way to tie it that I remember seeing. So I went online and I did a little bit of looking around and I discovered that guys have kind of modified the technique to tying that. And it's still definitely more complicated than the other knots, but it's considerably easier to tie now in his video, this guy uh, demonstrated that he can tie this knot in under 60 seconds. That's not bad for the knot that performs, you know, 100% or better. Maybe that is worth that amount of time. I think the double uni is probably out. I think what I saw was convincing enough that 
Yeah, that's probably not the right thing to do. I'm probably gonna learn both the FG knot and the Alberto knot and practice them both. I think if I get comfortable tying that FG knot over time and I can do it easily in all kinds of conditions, then that may ultimately become my knot. So, uh, shout out to Bass Fishing HQ's video. You opened my eyes, you got me thinking. I appreciate that, good video. Um, and thanks to all the videos that I checked out to help me learn how to tie those other knots. I hope this was helpful for you.